Hey lovelies, Carla Nicole. So I just wanted to um, touch base with everybody and let you guys know um, that sometimes we have to um, be mindful about how much power we have over our life and our peace. So just to give you a little uh, rendition of what happened to me yesterday. Now, you know, being a wisdom coach, it's not easy to be coached yourself. But, you know, but as you know, once you are a coach, you have to uh, set the bar and you have to challenge yourself to even be more mindful of how you respond to the way people uh, treat you or the way things happen and, and you try to be um, as, uh, you know, intuitive as possible so that you don't continue to make the same mistakes as other people do, right? So just to let you know, so I got this nasty gram yesterday and um, I'm like, what is this? You know what I'm saying? Like I was hot. And you know, we say that, but, but I mean, I was internally hot. Like I was angry. Okay. Because you're, you're coming at me on some, on some negativity stuff that is, that is absolutely positively, unequivocally, it's just unacceptable. So I'm looking at it like, you know, you're doing all this yelling and, and acting a fool. And my thing is, you know, oh no, I'm not going to allow your negative uh, ways to impact mine but of course you know I got hot first <laughs> before I had the power of realizing well actually am I going to choose to take this on take this whole energy that this person is trying to cast me on and adopt it as my own or am I going to choose peace so I just wanted to hit y'all up man we have the power to choose peace it's not hard to do. Matter of fact, it's if we learn early on how to adopt peace and take peace on, you know, we we can find ourselves in a peaceful space more than negative space overall in abundance because we can sit back and say, "Look, I don't have to take this on." Matter of fact, I'm going to choose peace, right? So, anyway, the nasty gram came in I felt my body get hot. I felt myself getting ready to go into that negative space. And I'm like, you know what? I said this out of my mouth. I said, I choose peace first. And then um, realizing that that, first of all, is not easy to do when you're angry or when you're emotional or when you're feeling like you have been attacked for something that you had not, no control over. So, you know, I was like, I choose I choose peace okay and and again like I said it's it's easy to do but yet it it takes practice okay anything that we love and learn in life it takes practice we must practice what we preach not only that I will tell you in a minute I am a coach yes but I gotta also be a student I have to sit down and be taught some things you know I have my own my own time of meditation, my own time of learning, my own time of study, because I can't teach nobody else something I'm not willing to learn. I'm still a student of life. So being a life student, it actually helps me to uh, take on some, some things that I didn't even realize at the time when I was understanding and listening and, and, and studying some things, I didn't realize, well, wait a minute, this actually is coming to my advantage. Because I have been taking meditation classes with Docs Digla. He is my my meditation coach. And if you don't know him, you better get to know him. He's phenomenal at what he does. Docs Digla. Make sure that you look him up. This man is powerful. You hear me? Docs Digla. Okay? So first of all. And so, hey Tammy, blessings. Thanks so much, MJ. Um, so, you know, we have to take in some things and, and we have to be mindful that, you know, even though we're out here doing the light work, um, it definitely requires us to apply, 
<laughs> apply some things, okay? So back to what I was saying. So anyway, in my last meditation session with Docs, he was he was telling me like, listen, you know, um, make sure you're breathing and make sure that you are um, allowing, because at times we, we don't allow positive thoughts. Why? Because we were busy or because of life busyness or because we're obligated to other things. We just don't take in the time to allow the positive thoughts to come in and penetrate. So anyway, like I said, when I said out of my mouth, I choose peace, it immediately started to, it was like a neutral space that came over me. I actually felt a calm come across my spirit. Can't describe it, but it was beautiful. It was like a newfound way to interject my my energy because that negative energy could have caused me to be what? Irate at other people, bitter, angry. And I was like, no, let me shift this. And we can do it. We can shift. Not we didn't know I didn't know the power until I actually applied the power. Okay, so that's where I'm sharing this with you guys. So when I said I choose peace, I then disconnected from all social media, I disconnected from everything, and I went into meditation. And in my and in my meditation, I just I became very neutral. I, I ended up feeling like this 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 I don't know, it's hard to describe in words, but it was just a peaceful ambiance and presence. And the energy felt so good, it was like serene. Okay? So then after that, I have a client that I'm working with that, you know, you guys probably saw recently where I was doing body work on her. And I reached out to her because her and I are doing some business ventures. And I talked to her. I said, hey, I said, so what's going on with the business that, are, that are, you know, we're just having our conversation. And then she says to me, you know, since our, since you did that body work on me, she was like, uh, I feel good. Like I, I don't have the pain anymore. I'm more clear. I actually, you know, redecorated my home and all this stuff. And I'm like, wow. So now that now remember I said I had adopted the presence of peace. So now I'm talking to someone who is also peaceful that I actually gave peace to in the body work session that I gave gift to her when we were in the session together. So it was beautiful. So now now understand this. I want y'all to get this. Understand that peace comes when we allow peace to come. Because it would have been simple and easy for me to be very negative after that nasty gram. But I decided to choose peace, right? So in my choice of peace, I also chose to pick someone to talk to after that. After I had decided the peace, I decided to choose to pick someone that I felt was positive someone that would give me another it's like a, a um, another boost of energy of peace right so I spoke to her and now she returns to me the peace I gave her when I did the session with her so now I'm like oh my god now I'm I'm, I'm through the roof with excitement and positivity and and now the impact of negativity that came from the nasty gram has now down to nothing. It's minuscule. It's, it doesn't even matter now because I actually had a chance to speak to my client and she was so positive and it just made my day. So now, after I chose peace from deciding not to allow that negative impact to, to be negative, I now have her to reiterate how positive I was to help her and now it just makes it, it made it beautiful. So I just wanted to gift everybody this, this statement. Choose peace, man. Choose peace. I don't care who it is. You have the power. And we don't, I don't even think we really realize. You have the power to really take on peace. Good morning, Lisa. You have the power to take in peace. And you have the power to choose peace. It's not hard. It just takes what I said earlier, practice. See, practice makes perfect, right? I can be a coach for somebody all day. I can tell them all kinds of great advice, unique perspective, give them all kinds of wisdom and all that. I can do that. But it takes practice for me to apply what I'm teaching, apply what I'm saying, 
apply how I am learning to unlearn some things. Even in my own life. I can't teach you guys if I'm not willing to learn. So I tell people all the, all the time. If you don't choose me as a coach, I understand that. But make sure you choose a coach that is willing to learn. That is a student of life. That really truly wants to learn how to bear the weight of change. Because you don't want a coach that is not willing to change or willing to make a difference. You don't want a coach like that because they're not going to gift you information on how to change for themselves. And how can I tell someone else how to do better and be better in their life if I'm not doing the same in my own? I'm just saying, you know? And so I wanted to gift you guys that information, you know, the power of truly living this life is learning to choose peace. And we can. It just takes time. And it takes a lot of practice. And we have to be intentional with what we say in our from our mouths. When we are intentional and we're really stating what we really want, we have to be that. And we have to become that. And we have to be totally in alignment with what we desire and what we want to do. If I'm all negative all the time, if I would have let that woman or let that nasty gram ruin my evening, I could have woke up on some other stuff and talking about, I'm all, I, you know, I woke up like this and y'all just gonna have to accept me for who I am and yeah, I'm negative and all that. I could have just become that because of one person being negative. It takes one, that's what's so deep. It takes one person to shift your whole day. You can have a beautiful day. You can have excitement. You can have wonderful stuff. And let one person tick you off. Do they not ruin your whole day? You forgot all the positive of, the, of your whole day because of one person. But like I said earlier, you can change that just by saying to yourself out of your mouth. Now, you have to be, in, you have to be the, like I say, you have to be the president of your own of your own life you have to say out of your mouth I choose peace and maybe even say it to the person that's being negative tell them I choose peace so what you're saying to me and how negative you're being to me won't impact me because I choose peace now you can either agree or you can disagree it's up to you but as far as I'm concerned where I'm at and where I'm standing, and in this time, right now, in real time, like we talk about real time on Facebook and live, I'm live, I'm in real time right now, I choose peace. So with that said, I have to be willing to say, I'm not allowing your negativity to impact me to where now I have to go out and figure out a way how, to, how do I shift this negative off of me? Do it immediately. As soon as someone is negative, let them know out of your own mouth now say I choose peace I will not allow you to impact me negatively I'm going to shift this here he is there's Docs hey love I was just talking about you so so like I said choose peace it's not hey Tom it's not hard to choose peace it's very powerful when you choose peace it changes everything I mean like I said I had to truly sit back Docs, I was just telling everybody to look you up. I was just telling everybody how important it is that us coaches, wisdom coaches out here, we're trying to impart in people. We have to continue to be students and study. I told them about how we had our session and how I had to apply <laughs> being peaceful. And so, Docs, what I just got done saying is I, I had a nasty gram. Somebody tried to be nasty to me, and I was like, okay. I got, you know, I talk about it. I got hot. Now, I don't know ever about everybody else, but when I get angry or upset, my whole body gets hot. So when I say I get hot, I'm really meaning it. I, my body gets hot. So I was like, okay, in the moment of the heat, when I'm on fire, because I'm blazing now, in the moment of heat and anger and upset, I'm like, I said it out of my mouth, Docs. I said, I choose peace. And I was telling everybody how powerful that was just by saying I out of my mouth, just saying it out loud, I choose peace. It was like a whole, I cannot explain it. You guys will understand it once you apply it and do it in your own, in your own way 
in your own time of upset. When you, when I said that, it was a calm that just came over me and it just like dissipated the anger and the heat. And that's what's important. You got anger and heat and upset. We have to learn what can neutralize that. What can stop that? What can, what can, what can put shade on that and brighten the beauty of, of your time here? Time is of the essence. I can't gift anybody my time while they're being negative. I've got to shift that out. And, and let them be like look you can't be in my space if you're gonna be negative I just can't gift you that but when you're positive and then as soon as I did that I got to talk to my client and she was positive so now I spoke with someone that just reiterated how beautiful positive thinking and positive dismay of energy helps to assist you to continue on the positivity so when you change, when you shift, because see, listen, if I would have not stayed on the positivity, I don't know what could have happened. I could have woke up negative. I could have been nasty to my son. I could have been nasty. I mean, you know, you just don't know. But because I shifted it and said, I choose peace, I ended up having a very positive evening. I ended up resting well. I ended up having a great wake up because, you know, when we wake up in the morning, we wake up carrying a lot of stuff so when you wake up positive because I meditated and and I just dissipated all that negative it changed everything we have the power in our life to change everything just by merely saying out of our mouth what we desire and what we want and when we say we do agree with positive it will come you will find yourself protected Believe it or not, you are protected from negative when you st- have a, a barrier of peace around you. And you just be like, well, damn, I didn't realize how great it is. I actually feel great now. So now I woke up happy and joyful. And I said, let me share this with my people. I got to share this with somebody because I don't know who I'm sharing it for. But like I said, please be sure to make sure that you understand your power. It's not that hard. Because when we don't practice it, it's when we get, we get into a, a rut or a vortex of negativity. We don't even know how we got there. But it's because you have to practice it. Just like anything else. Practice your meditation. Practice your peace. Practice your, your day of starting out. Put your phone down and stuff and start to be thankful for being here. Someone didn't wake up this morning. You're here. Be thankful. Be excited. Be joyful. Be positive. I'm telling you, it's contagious. Because once you find out, oh my God, I didn't realize how great it feels to be positive. Yes. It's a joyful thing. Trust me. So I want to read something that um, it looks like Tammy said, Wow, this is beautiful and I need to do this more. Started menopause two years ago and it blocks positive on me my energy and my thoughts see and Tammy um, menopause man I'm telling you there are a lot of things that um, we can do before we hit the menopausal stage um, that can help with that and I also have some information to gift you and give you if, if you want to reach out to me inbox me because there are things you can do positively positively and also health wise and there's all kinds of different things there is a um, a tincture called lady pause that helps to regulate your hormones getting shifted into menopause so get with me I'll, I'll help you to do that and, and like I said um, my meditative state is is really getting uplifted because of Doc's Digla if you don't know him make sure to get to know him this man is really helping me with my med, med with my meditation and he's in he's um and I have him we actually work together with my son that's 10 years old so we we do sessions every week every Wednesday and I'm telling you just meditation is key for this life you have to have it you have to look inward to be able to help outward to look better to be better Um, and then I had um, MJ he said you're absolutely right as life coaches we have to be more conscious of our behavior as well as remain humble and receptive to others even to the extent that we take an energy that's um, unable 
oops, unable to be handled by most, like Jesus. But God gave us the will to choose, and we can exercise our freedom of choice as much as necessary for our own individual happiness. I totally agree with all that you've spoken. See? Thanks so much, Marlon. I appreciate you. So again, you know, it's very important that we practice as coaches. So y'all wisdom coaches and y'all life coaches out here, light workers, everybody out here inspiring. Don't stop. Don't stop studying. Don't stop, you know, being a student because we must do that in order to be, you know, efficient with what we're doing for other people because we have to, we have to realize we're not better than anyone. We are still student. We are still human. We are going to still have our own stuff we got to deal with. And with that said, you know, it's a challenge even more so because we're helping others to elevate. So we have to remain humble like, like Marlon said. And we have to definitely be sure we are studying and getting better at what we do. In order to do that, we have to make sure that we are doing the work. It's very important. I want everybody to enjoy their Saturday. Listen, if you have not yet went over to my YouTube, I have a YouTube channel that I, it's called Carla Nicole Wisdom Channel. Go over there and subscribe today. Um, and then, like I said, uh, if you guys are not a part of my group, Live with Carla Nicole, make sure you request that on Facebook because I do do a lot with my group. Um, we have two, um, two video calls a month called heart and mind call um, and we also have essentially speaking call where we talk about intimacy and we talk about how to um, regain the closeness in relationships so make sure to uh, reach out to me I appreciate everybody that took a little time with me um, and make sure you share this video okay I'm out of here it's Carla Nicole I'm signing off best kept have a good day